welcome back to my channel my name is summer and today this will be the first video in my back to college series i plan on doing a continuous series throughout the end of july into august and maybe september depending on how many videos i actually end up posting i plan on having one video posted each week for this series while continuously posting vlogs and things like that but this way i don't have to post all of my law school content at one time in August and I can spread it out a little bit and focus on transitioning to law school and actually get it started without the stress of continuously posting all the time. So today's video is the first video. This will probably be the longest one too because I am going to go through absolutely everything that you could ever possibly think of needing for college and anything that I don't cover in my other videos I absolutely will. So if I forget anything I'll remember it later and you'll see it then. But anyways, this is a very overall list of everything I brought to college. This is literally my packing list that I made for myself when I went my freshman year. I've set this into separate categories. We have bedding, bathroom, school supplies, clothes, laundry, technology, and other things that you probably will forget. So first up is bedding. The first most important absolute thing that you 100% need to buy if you are ever going to live in a college dorm is a mattress pad. If you think you can get away without a mattress pad and just sleep on the regular mattress, you're going to be crying in your sleep because your back is going to hurt so bad. Buy a mattress pad. I recommend the foam ones rather than the gel ones because the gel ones uh, tend to get very warm but make sure you get one the second thing is sheets duh you're gonna need a pair of sheets it doesn't matter what type of sheets you get honestly I recommend getting one pair of sheets I know a lot of people who get two pair of sheets that way they have a pair of sheets on their bed while they're washing their sheets I just sit at my desk or sit on the bed with the foam mattress on there or do something else. I never felt the need to have two pairs of sheets so I just never had that. The third thing you need for college is a comforter or a duvet. I know a lot of people typically take a duvet because they're scared that the comforter is not going to fit in the washing machine. There is probably a 98% chance that your washing machine and dryer at college are going to be a normal size washing machine and dryer. So just take a comforter if that's what you want. I recommend getting one of the reversible ones from Target with two different colors on each side. At home, I have the gray and black one, so I can flip it over and one side's gray and the other side's black. And at college, I had the dark blue and light blue ones. The fourth thing you need is a throw blanket. I know a lot of people don't bring this or they probably will forget it. I had one. I got it for actually as a graduation gift from high school and it's like a big collage of my family and all my friends from high school and like big events in my life and that's what I use as my throw blanket. The next thing you need are pillows. Pretty obvious that you're probably going to need those and to go along with that pillowcases. I feel like this is self-explanatory. The next thing I recommend is a husband pillow. This is the pillow that has the arms and the backrest. I got one of these because I love doing my homework in bed and I know a lot of people can't do that, they can't focus. I personally absolutely 100% only do my homework in bed because that is the only place where I can fully relax and put all of my focus in there. So if you're like me and you ever want to sit in your bed and watch a movie and not like lay sideways, I recommend getting a husband pillow. And lastly to go along with bedding, if you're like me and you want to do your homework in bed, I also recommend getting a lap desk. I used my lap desk probably every single day I was in college because I did my homework so often in my bed and or on the floor or anywhere else that wasn't a chair and a desk. All right, on to our second section, which is the bathroom and toiletries. First up is a first aid kit. I feel like a ton of people forget this and you definitely need one. I cannot remember how many band-aids I had and they are all gone now because I was the only person on my entire floor who had a band-aid. You're gonna need it. 
The second thing is cough and cold medicine. If you think you're not going to go to college and get sick, you're wrong. You will get sick. In fact, I was sick for two whole years while I was at college with a never-ending cold. Get some cough medicine. Get some NyQuil, DayQuil, whatever you want. Doesn't matter. You're going to need it because you will at least get sick once. Third thing on my list is Advil, Benadryl, or emergency. Actually, all of them. Get all of them because you're always going to need them for something. These are my three essentials that I probably used all throughout college. Now into the definite stuff for your bathroom for showering and things like that. First of all is a long bathrobe. I know a lot of girls, specifically girls, like to have the short little white bathrobes and walk to the bathroom. I'm just saying no one wants to see mishaps. The next thing is towels. I know a lot of people when they get a bathrobe they don't get towels or they just get towels and no bathrobe. I highly recommend getting both of them. The next thing is shower shoes. I feel like I will probably say this in every single video that I talk about like going to college. Wear shower shoes, buy shower shoes, bring shower shoes, bring flip-flops, bring something to wear into the shower that can get wet. The showers, they're disgusting. They do get cleaned most of the time, but people don't always wear shower shoes. I had boys who did not own shower shoes the entire time they are, the entire time they were in college, and I guarantee you, it's, it's just so gross. You don't know what people are doing in there, the amount of hair in there, the dirt, the Mold? I don't even want to know what's in there. Oh, you can't say mold. Mildew? Gross. Wear shower shoes. The next thing is a shower caddy. No matter what your shower situation is, unless you are having a bathroom in your room, you're probably going to need a shower caddy. I had two different types of shower caddies. I had the hanging one that was canvas, and I had the plastic one. I would say if you get the canvas one, don't put it in the shower. It probably needs to be outside of the shower and you reach in and you grab your stuff. And then with the plastic one, that one can go in the shower. I would say both of them mold at the same speed. Most, both of them get dirty at the same speed. Not one was worse than the other. I did like the canvas one because it had pockets so I could put all of my facial stuff in there. While with my plastic one, it was specifically for going in the shower. Next is toothpaste, toothbrush, floss, mouthwash, whatever you're going to do to take care of your oral hygiene. Bring it. Next is a razor. Pretty self-explanatory. Bring a razor if you want a razor. If you don't want a razor, bring, don't bring one. Next is a hairbrush, claw clips, hair ties, scrunchies, anything that you're going to be using for your hair. Uh... Dry shampoo. I didn't think I, I never used dry shampoo in high school and I did fairly regularly in college. Hairspray. If you think you don't need hairspray, you probably need hairspray. I had to borrow a lot of girls hairspray and then I finally bought my own. My hair does not hold a curl very well. It does not hold a straighten very well. It's very frizzy. So I did not bring a lot of like curlers or straight irons or a hair dryer but you totally can if you want to. The only warning I would give to that is if you know you're living in an older building be very very careful about the amount of hair dryers or hair straighteners you will plug into a wall or an outlet because the power will shut off in your room. This happened to one of my residents. Her and her roommate were blow drying their hair at the same time and the power completely went out in the entire floor. The next thing is deodorant. Please bring deodorant. There are so many people who don't bring deodorant. Bring deodorant. In fact, bring more than one deodorant. Keep one in your room and one in your backpack because I guarantee you before and after a test, you're probably going to be sweating a little bit and you need a little bit of that. The next is conditioner, shampoo, body wash, all of that stuff. Make sure you bring it. It's really important. You don't want to forget it. Last thing is a loofah. The important thing is to know where you're going to store your loofah and make sure that it has a place to completely dry out if you do bring one. On to the third section. School supplies. All right. The first thing is a backpack. Get a backpack. 
pretty important. I've heard a lot of people recommend that you really need a durable backpack and a really nice backpack with a computer sleeve. No, you don't. Get a backpack you're gonna like. Get a backpack you're gonna wanna wear every day. It literally doesn't matter. People are always like, you're gonna carry so many books in your backpack, it needs to be strong. I don't think I owned a single textbook that I had to carry back and forth from class my entire time I was in college. The next is a planner. Personally, freshman year, I didn't have a planner. I completely winged it and I did fine. Now my second year, I had a planner. I actually had two planners and I did fine. Do what you want to do with that information as you please. I have also seen people do their planner online on their iPad. I never took my iPad back and forth to class. I only used it for like my science classes, but if you plan on like having an online planner, you can do that too. Also, I highly recommend getting Google Calendar on your phone because that is one of the biggest planners that I used my sophomore year of college. This was my schedule my sophomore year in February. That was a really great visual way for me to have it on my phone and not have to go through my backpack and find my planner and all of that stuff. Third is a way to take notes. It doesn't matter how you take notes, but you do need to find a way to do this. As long as you have a way to do that and the materials to do that, you should be fine. For example, if you wanna handwrite notes, you should probably get some notebooks. Next is pencils, pens, and Sharpies and specifically number two pencils at least one like wood pencil not a mechanical pencil i also recommend bringing sharpies you will probably not think you'll use them as much as you will but you'll use them quite often i use mine all the time maybe that was just because i was an ra or whatever but the next is highlighters at least one yellow one the next is a scientific calculator. I used them for almost every science class I had for biology and for genetics, and I use them in my psychology classes too. Even if it just sits in your desk all year, I still recommend having it because you have no idea when you're going to use it. Next is a stapler. I know a lot of people didn't bring a stapler and I had one, so I was always being asked to use it, so. Next, if you like to study with flashcards, bring flashcards and bring the flashcard little loopy ring things. Bring them, they're great if you like to study like that. If not, don't. Next are sticky notes. If you don't like sticky notes and you don't think you're gonna use them, don't buy them. Or buy them later when you're in college and you're like, oh my gosh, I need a pack of sticky notes, let me go buy that. Then buy them. Next is paper clips or binder clips, whatever you wanna call them. Next is flash drives. I feel like flash drives depend on what you're studying and how you're taking notes. I recommend if you're taking your notes on a Word document that you do back them up onto a flash drive. Next is whiteout. I guarantee you, you will be using a lot of whiteout. I made a lot of mistakes in pins and things like that and whiteout was really handy to have when I made a mistake. Also, the one thing that I did not add on this list was a pair of scissors. You will need a pair of scissors and bring a pair of scissors. All right, next section, clothing. What clothes to bring to school? First thing you're gonna need before you even bring any clothes is some hangers. I suggest velvet hangers. I know a lot of people are like, I don't really need velvet hangers. Yeah, I thought the same thing too before going to college, but honestly, they're super handy. If you don't have a closet or if you have a dresser, I recommend drawer dividers. I had little ones that I got off of a pack of Amazon and they were really great. Next, I'm going to get super duper specific on the number of things I brought. And I do want to say these numbers changed with the seasons, with how my clothing style changed and with how many things I bought once I was at college. The first thing I packed was 10 t-shirts. I'm saying 10 t-shirts because when you get to college, first of all, you're going to get a minimum of 10 more t-shirts from your college for free. Almost guaranteed. Next is sweaters. I am a big sweater girly personally and if you live in Miami, you probably don't need to be bringing a whole bunch of sweaters. Next is five skirts. I did bring five skirts, but I also ended up buying a lot of skirts when I was in college. Next is dresses. 
I would say if you're planning on rushing a sorority, you should probably plan out at least two or three dresses that you know you want to have and then see what the rest of the day's themes are before you go out and buy dresses. Next is 10 long pants. This is includes like jeans, sweatpants, and that was plenty because it was summertime and I didn't need that many. Next, I brought eight tank tops. I feel like in high school, I never wore as many tank tops as I did now because I wasn't allowed to, but that was the one thing that changed majorly when I went to college was the amount of tank tops I started wearing. Next is seven PJ sets. You've I know a lot of people who wore matching PJ sets. I am not one of those people. I really prefer my boxers and a big t-shirt, but you need something to wear to bed. Also, on that note, wear pants to bed because somebody accidentally pulls the fire alarm at 3 in the morning and you're not wearing pants. It's going to be really awkward when you go downstairs and you don't have pants on. Next is two bathing suits. I did not think I was going to need bathing suits in college, but I absolutely did. I wore them quite often you want to go tan, if you want to go to a day party. Next is bras, underwears, and socks. I also brought three sweatshirts. Once again, you're going to be getting a lot of sweatshirts and crewnecks and things like that from your school. I also recommend at least two jackets, including a rain jacket, because you're going to need a rain jacket. And I also included one cute coat. I did not have a cute coat that I wanted to wear out, so just one that you want to look nice and something cute. The next thing is five going out tops. I added this, but I did not bring this with me when I went to college. I slowly accumulated these thing that you could wear to a party or out to dinner with friends. The next section is laundry. Most likely you will be doing laundry on campus because your campus will have a laundry facility. The first thing you're gonna need, of course, is detergent! I recommend buying the liquid detergent first. I know a lot of people are pro Tide Pod. I am not. And I will tell you why. Most of the time, your Tide Pods will not dissolve all the way, and then you'll get stains all over your clothes. I recommend liquid detergent until you can see how other people's Tide Pods act in there. The next is a laundry bag or bin. Doesn't matter which one you get, you need one though to carry your laundry from your room there because carrying it like this is really gross. The next is a lint brush. I used a lint brush all the time in high school because I had dogs and when I was in college, my hair got way longer and I used a lint brush for that. Next is some stain remover or a Tide stick. I have the teeny tiny little Tide stick and it's in my backpack and I carried that with me and that's what I use. I know a lot of people have this spray stain remover too. It doesn't matter which one you get, but you should probably have at least one of them. And last but not least is dryer sheets. Second to last is technology. I feel like this is really self-explanatory, so I'm going to go through this very quickly. First is your phone. Second is headphones. Third is chargers. And fourth is a computer or iPad. The one thing I will say is I know a lot of people are like, I need an iPad for college, I need an iPad. No, you don't. You do not need to go out of your way to buy an iPad. You are 100% perfectly fine with a computer. That goes the opposite direction as well. I know a lot of people who went into college with an iPad and had the keyboard attachment. That is perfectly fine as well. You do not need to buy a computer, but you need to have at least one or the other. The last section, we're finally at the last section, is other things. These are random things that I thought about, random things that I had, last minute things that I didn't bring, last minute things that popped into my head that I didn't use or used or forgot about. First is makeup and skincare. This depends on the person, depends on how much you want to wear. I was never a big person who wore makeup in high school. When I was in college, I didn't wear it on a day-to-day, -day, but I did when I went out with friends. And so I highly recommend bringing some makeup if you want to. And I also highly recommend bringing makeup remover, cleanser, whatever face stuff you want to use. Next is Lysol wipes. I recommend when you move into your dorm that the Lysol wipes are right next to you in the driver's seat so that the first thing you do when you move in is wipe down everything because you think the college comes and cleans it. They do, but it's still disgusting. I recommend cleaning it. Just, just do a little wipey down. Bring some Lysol wipes. Also, the amount of things that you don't know that will happen 
to like make a little spill, clean it up. Drop something, clean it up. Bring some Lysol wipes. Next is a purse or a tote. I would have put this under clothing, but it didn't quite fit there. I brought way too many bags to college because my college gave me way too many bags. I recommend bringing like one of those fanny pack things, like the cute ones, not the ugly ones, and a tote bag. Next is an umbrella. You need an umbrella when you go to college. I don't know why people think they don't need an umbrella. Bring an umbrella and get a rain jacket and then just shove the umbrella in your backpack and keep it there. The next are sunglasses. I brought one pair of sunglasses and that's what I wore. The next is a flashlight. I only used my flashlight in college I think twice and once was when there was a tornado and we lost power and the other one when there was a hurricane and we lost power. Next are tools. You probably won't be using tools a whole lot when you get to college, but I recommend at least having a hammer and a screwdriver. I have a screwdriver that has a lot of little different bits around it and then I can change out the bits. The next is a desk lamp. I would have put this under school, but I, my freshman year, used a desk lamp and my second year I did not because my room came with a lamp above the desk. The next is power strips. You will probably have a max of four outlets in your dorm room. Next is batteries. I did not think I was going to be using batteries that often but I honestly use them for a lot of things like my desk lamp or my flashlight. Next is a trash can. I feel like a lot of people forget that they should bring a trash can. My freshman year, my room came with a trash can and a recycling bin, and the trash can was so small. So I just had a really big trash can, and my roommate bought a trash can, and we both just dealt with it ourselves, and that was that. Next is tissues. This is either for when you're sick or when you're crying. Next is paper products. I know a lot of people like to bring their own dining wear and they're like, I'm gonna wash it. No, you're not. You're lying to yourself. That plate is never getting washed. Buy some paper plates and you'll be fine. And you know what? You'll probably only use them a couple of times. I think I bought one big package of paper plates and it lasted me two years. To go along with that are plastic utensils. Next is a Brita bottle. I know a lot of people recommend getting a Brita pitcher. Personally, I had a Brita pitcher and it got really gross really quick. So get a Brita water bottle and it's much easier to clean and it fits in your refrigerator probably. Next is a beach towel. I had a beach towel and I got a beach towel for free and I use them very very often laying out on the grass going out with friends wiping up messes on the floor this is also a towel you can use for when you don't want to use your nice bath towels and last but not least is decor depending on what type of decor you want bring what you want it doesn't matter i would totally recommend being very cautious on what you bring because your dorm room is probably not going to be that big. Be careful about the furniture that you're going to bring in, if you're going to bring in any furniture at all, and what you're putting on the walls and how you're putting it up. Personally, when I was a freshman, I had two tapestries and then I also had a wire board with pictures of my family on it. My second year, I had a tapestry and I also had a couple of disco balls and things like that. Anyways, we have come to the end of this video of things that you're probably going to need in college. Hopefully this is everything. I probably forgot a whole bunch of stuff because there's a whole bunch of stuff you need to bring. But if you want to bring something or you don't want to bring something, don't bring it or do bring it. I don't really care. I'm just telling you what I brought. Thank you so much for watching and make sure you check back later on my channel to see the continuation of this series. Oh, I plan on having a minimum of eight of these videos. All of them will be talking about different types of things involving college. For example, what being an RA is like, how I graduated college in two years, what classes I took, and ranking them, and things you're probably going to forget get for college, like all the things that I forgot to say. That's the end of this video, and I will see you next time. Bye!